All right, class, let's talk about how does the female body make estrogen, okay? So this is an important concept to understand as to thinking about how is estrogen produced in the follicles in the ovary and also when there is pathology in um, hormones in the female, we then can start understanding where that happened. So the slide that talks about this comes from this slide right here, okay? Um, if you look back at what we explained earlier in the previous slide, the primary follicle, if you look at this uh, slide from before, does not make estrogen, much estrogen at all, okay? So you can see the estrogen is actually really low in the primary stage until the follicle becomes an antrofollicle or a secondary follicle. At that point, the antrofollicle will start making more and more estrogen as the egg gets bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So let's talk about how this estrogen production, production happens. It is explained in this figure with step-by-step, step, okay? But I'm gonna draw it out for you so you can kind of follow along. So primary follicles do not have an antrum. So once we have an antrum, so let's draw this off. What we have is that we have layers of cells. So first layer here in black, I'm just gonna draw layers of black. This first layer of black cells are called thicca. Okay, so those are thicca cells. Okay, and within the ovary, we have an oosa. That's where the DNA from the mom is, okay? So this is the oocyte. But all surrounding the oocyte, we have lots and lots of cells that I'm gonna use these pink dots for, are what's called granulosa cell. Okay, so these pink dots are called granulosa cell. Okay, so I'm gonna use a pink pen and write down granulosa cells. So these two are the hormone producing cells of the body and they're very important for those functions. All right, sorry for the interruption. My daughter just came home from the pool, but now we can continue. So you can see that then there are these granulosa cells surrounding the oocyte, okay? So th these are the two cells that are really important for hormone production. So let's start by looking at step one, what happens, okay? So you have the hypothalamus pituitary axis. So let's take a look at what hormones produced by the pituitary that makes hormone. So the Anterior pituitary makes a hormone called LH, okay? I know we learned that the LH is for ovulation, but this is another role of LH is for the production of estrogen. So a step one is LH is released at just a not high amount, just a normal amount right here, okay? Normal amount right here. Um, it's released and then the LH binds to the LH receptor, so two, the LH receptor on the theca cells. Okay, so step two, LH bound to LH receptor. The theca then will produce androgen or testosterone. Okay, let's just write testosterone. But you can say androgen as well. Okay, testosterone. So that's three. This, the LH is not at a high level right here. So the level of testosterone produced is not at super high level as well. These, the testosterone is then sequestered or taken up by the granulosa cells, okay? And the granulosa cells is gonna take that testosterone and convert it to estrogen, okay? That's the role of the granulosa cells to take the 
um, testosterone binds it up and convert it to estrogen. Okay, the there's an enzyme called aromatase that does that and makes estrogen. Okay, from testosterone. This is the estrogen is what's going to go into the blood and then go into the uterus, cause uterine growth and other feminization effects like breast growth and all that. Okay, so that's what's going into the blood. So th let's let's keep numbering this. Okay, so so step one is LH release binding to the LH receptor on the theca. Theca cells produce testosterone. Testosterone is bound up by granulosa cells at step four. Granulosa cells take the testosterone and convert it to estrogen at step five. And estrogen is what's going into the blood and causing the different changes. Okay? So that is the process of making estrogen. Okay, let's take a look, think, think about some pathologies here. What if we have a female that's making three times more LH? So LH is too high. What will happen to testosterone? Well, testosterone will get higher as well. And the testosterone may not get bound at step four by granulosa cells at a fast enough rate. So this testosterone can actually end up in the blood, causing some problems such as hair growth, acne, and other problems. Okay, so you'll look at that on that pathology when we get to PCOS. Think back to this figure again to think about what is the LH and the excess androgen testosterone, how did that happen, okay? So remember again, testosterone androgen, uh, we're gonna use it um, interchangeably. But this is, is a, um, this is how estrogen is produced in normal and then we can look at some of the pathology. Okay, in the next video, we'll continue looking at ovulation in the luteal phase.